friends today i am going to present a short tutorial on that is the heart sounds if you remember that last in last lecture in two parts we have studied that is about the cardiac cycle so today we are going to deal here with the heart sound as you remember that heart sounds are produced during some of the events which are occurring during cardiac cycle now let us see what is what do you mean by the heart sound now during each cardiac cycle due to mechanical activities total four heart sounds are produced out of four heart sounds first and second heart sounds are audible with the ordinary stethoscope while third and fourth heart sounds can be heard with electronic stethoscope or phonocardiograph so let us study here this all sounds to understand here their cause their characteristic and where they can be heard or where they can be auscultated over the chest side. so let us see here the first heart sound and remember here this heart sounds are say represented by letter hs and followed by a number now it is ss1 means the first heart sound if it is ss2 that is then it is second heart sound and so on so what is the cause of that is the first heart sound the first heart sound is produced during start of ventricular system during phase of isovolumic contraction phase due to vibration set up by the sudden closure of av valves what is its characteristic the first heart sound is long and soft when heart rate is low and loud when the heart rate is high its duration is about 0.15 seconds and frequency of occurrence is 25 to 45 hertz it sounds like the spoken word or syllable that is lub l u b b we should pronounce it as that is the lub now which is the site for auscultation it can be heard by auscultation of the chest with stethoscope where it is heard it is best heard over the mitral and tricuspid areas mitral area is located in the left fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line and tricuspid area located in left fifth intercostal space near the stern so what is its appearance in the phonocardiogram just try to say correlate this event with weiger's diagram which we have say that is studied here in weiger diagram that is the heart sounds were rep represented as that is the fifth row in the figure starting from that is the say pressure changes the last one was that is the recording of heart sound in phonocardiogram the first heart sound is recorded as a single group of 9 to 13 waves the amplitude of the waves is small to start with but later rapidly rises to form crescendo and diminuendo series of waves what is its correlation with ecg the first heart sound coincides with peak of r wave in ecg so let us see see here that is about say second heart sound which is say represented by that is capital letter ss2 what is its cause it is caused by vibration associated with closure of semilunar valve just at the onset of ventricular diastole that is at the beginning of proto diastolic phase what is its characteristics the second heart sound is short loud high pitched sound duration is 0.12 second and its frequency is 50 hertz it sounds like spoken word or syllable dub d u b now which is the site for auscultation it can be heard by auscultation of the chest with the stethoscope it is best heard over the aortic and pulmonary areas aortic area lies in the right second intercostal space near the sternum sternum pulmonary say area is in the left second intercostal space close to the stern in phonocardiogram second heart sound is recorded as single group of 4 to 6 waves having same amplitude what is its correlation with ecg second heart sound usually coincides with the end of 
the T wave in ECG. The, then it is followed by third heart sound, HS3, cause. What is its cause? The third heart sound is produced by vibration caused by the cardiac wall by inrush of blood during the rapid filling phase of ventricular diastole. Remember here, the second heart sound, why it is say caused? Yes, try to remember here. It occurs due to the closure of, that is the semilunar wall in the aorta and that is the pulmonary artery. The characteristic, what is its characteristic? The third heart sound is a short, soft and low pitch sound. Its duration is 0.1 second. Normally, it cannot be heard by auscultation with stethoscope. In phonocardiogram, the third heart sound is found with only one to four waves grouped together. This sound sometimes can be heard by ordinary stethoscope in young normal persons. However, if it is heard by a stethoscope in an elderly person, it indicates abnormality. Now, you can see in this figure, say the first third sound, it occurs with the closure of, say that is the AV wall, which is heard as lap, and that is as it is shown here, that is say the second heart sound is say heard due to the closure of semilunar, say that is the uh, that is the wall you can see here, and it is heard as that is the dark. Now what is the correlation of third heart sound with ECG? The third heart sound appears between T and P waves of ECG. The last heart sound which is produced during cardiac cycle is that is the fourth heart sound. It is indicated by capital letter HS4. What is its cause? It is caused by vibration set up during atrial systole which coincides with last rapid filling phase of ventricular diastole. If you remember that, that we have just termed this as that is the atrial systole. I mean this event coincides with the atrial systole. What is its characteristic? It is normally not audible. Sometimes it can be heard immediately before the first thought sound, when atrial pressure is high or when ventricle is stiff. In conditions such as ventricular hypotrophy, it is short and low pitch sound. Its duration is about 0.03 seconds and frequency is about 3 hertz. In phonocardiogram, the fourth heart sound merges many times with first thought sound. When it appears as a separate entity, it has one to two waves with very low amplitude. Remember one important thing that if you just remember that the phonocardiogram diagram, which is which was shown in the Weiger diagram, here say it only records three heart sounds. It has not recorded the fourth sound. Now each wall has separate auscultation area if you want to hear. That is the heart sound, but remember that with ordinary stethoscope, we can only auscultate the two areas the area of that is the first and second heart sound. Mitral wall is best heard in the mid clavicular line at line of that is the fourth and fifth intercostal space. Tricuspid wall in fifth intercostal space at the left sternal edge. Aortic wall in the second intercostal space at the right sternal edge and pulmonary wall in the second intercostal space at the left sternal edge. Now you can see these are the areas regarding the aortic and the pulmonary area. It shows that is the second intercostal space and for tricuspid and the middle area it shows here that is the fifth say that is the intercostal space. Similarly now we have seen that is correlation of this fourth heart song coincide with the interval between end of P wave and onset of Q wave. This figure shows here the same thing that is say where this all say that is auscultatory areas for first and second heart sound are situated. Similarly, here say now how we can hear hear this heart sound. This heart sound can be heard with a stethoscope. But this was invented by Rene Theophile Hyacinth Lenach in his lifespan was in 1781 to 1826. He is the man behind the, the stethoscope. And this is his diagram. Previously, say 
or the type of sethuko uh, which was used to be say in the practice nowadays this is the say that is a modified stethoscope what are these parts of the stethoscope all of you know and secondly here say now it is say how we say insert correctly the stethoscope in binaurals in the our ear now this say end should be say angled forward similarly here now there are some of the wall abnormalities which are which cause here say abnormal sound what we call it is a murmurs wall abnormalities fall into two classes valvular incompetence and valvular stenosis in the first type it is a failure of the wall to seal the seal properly and which allows the blood to regurgitate through the wall now in the second type the valvular stenosis is a narrowing of the open wall as a result and abnormally high pressure gradient is needed to dry uh, to drive uh, the blood through the open wall blood flows through stenosed or incompetent wall as a turbulent gate which creates a high frequency vibration the vibrations can be heard through the stethoscope and is called as murmur there are four valves and two pathology there are eight basic wall murmurs murmurs due to other causes besides wall disease a benign say systolic murmur is common in young people it is caused by turbulence in the ventricular outflow tract benign systolic murmur are common during pregnancy strenuous exercise and anemia ventral septal defect can also cause say murmurs murmurs are abnormal heart sound and having blowing or musical quality they are due to turbulence in the blood flow at or near a wall or an abnormal communication within the heart murmurs may be systolic diastolic or third type what we call it as a continuous they may be organic or inosin which have the following characteristics as described first a common in which is common in children usually heard in pulmonary area not a loud murmur variation of murmur on a posture or respiration usually systolic but may be continuous the murmur may be soft or sh soft short and say blowing in nature heart sounds are normal this ends here that is say that is short tutorial and on heart heart sound we have seen that here say when they are produced or during which phase of cardiac cycle they are produced then also we have seen there say that is the occurrence the or what is its cause characteristics and where they are auscultated and what is their correlation with the ec and lastly we have seen that is the very important aspect of the abnormal heart sound that is the uh, that is the heart murmurs i will stop here thank you for watching